unbelievable videos I warn you not to watch. Drop a thumbs up. Now just subscribe. imagine the following new. situation. A group of people are gathered for a barbecue. It's a beautiful day and they decide to go fishing on a lake. When all of a sudden you look to your side and the land starts rising by itself. This Whoa. is what will happen in Haryana, India. Now, Haryana is a North Indian state surrounding New Delhi on three sides. Any and Indian homies out there? Kaise ho paaji, the Yamuna River runs along its eastern border with Uttar Pradesh. The Uttar thing Pradesh. is, a couple of months ago, such an event was captured on camera and went almost instantly what? viral. And to this day, there is no explanation. Maybe the water is receding? Is it the ground? Uh, he's, he's saying Nea Turjurba means a uh, new wonder or something like that. I'm gonna translate for y'all. That's crazy! You can hear some of the men saying this is a new experience. This is amazing. The land is rising on its own. We have That's no crazy. idea what is happening. <laughs> he's saying that got up, that got up. <laughs> now the yeah, thing oi, is, oi, oi, some oi. theorize that this could be because of tectonic movement and others say this is because of methane gas. For instance, methane gas is responsible for some of the huge sinkholes oh. that we have been seeing forming in Siberia. But then again, after watching this video a couple of times, I've noticed that there are bubbles coming out of the water. This could indicate some sort of gas leaking out from the earth. However, that's it's very wild. difficult to affirm exactly what it is that's going on here because there simply isn't enough information about it. Whichever is the explanation, I'm not too sure if it is a safe thing to simply stand next to this mysterious phenomenon and capture it on camera. What I do know, however, is that this isn't supposed to be in any way, shape or form a normal normal daily occurrence i've never yeah. seen anything i've never seen that either one in one in the comments if you've never seen something like, like this that. in my entire life i've never even heard about it in your opinion what could be happening here Te technically you just saw it like that but but still though that's massive though it's not no, just I a little bomb. When I was younger, I would go into the woods late at night with friends or family, and we used to share stories of strange things that we had encountered in our lives. Ow! Ow! Holy! F That's massive. Yeah, Aliens. UFO? Oh no, that looks like... One of the most intriguing stories, at least to me, Potter. is unidentified creatures, such as Bigfoot. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of accounts and encounters with such a creature. It usually happens in the Northern Hemisphere, and in a recent video gone viral, we can see what's supposed to be a Sasquatch carrying one of its siblings crossing a river. Check this out. Oh, oh, wow. The clip is only 4.7 seconds long and has been originally uploaded by Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization YouTube channel. And while many internet users agree that this might actually be a Bigfoot, others state that this is just a man in a waiter suit or a fish. <laughs> Man in a waiter suit, really? Fishing suit. Now, because the clip is too small, it's very difficult to affirm, but it could be a man in a fishing suit and it could be something else. Now, when it comes to mysterious and mythological, it's really hard to make it out, though. Magical you know? creatures. It's not just Bigfoot that has been captured on camera. There is a creature known as Duende, and it is a humanoid figure of folklore with variations from Iberian, Latin American, Damn. and Filipino cultures. In this next video, a man is driving a truck in an unknown highway when all of a sudden something very strange happens. Check this out. The truck will on a completely different video. That's loud. Wait, is that? Yo, these bad quality cameras make it like 10 times more creepy, you know? Like, it really adds to that creepiness. What? What the hell? A very small humanoid figure is seen crossing the highway. Some believe that this could be a Duende sighting and others say that this is just a glitch in the matrix. Now it is very difficult to affirm, however the person who posted this video online said that this road is famous Is that like a monkey? No, it doesn't look like a monkey though For Duende sightings, so it might just be that. In your opinion, what is going on here?
Maybe a chihuahua walking on two legs? Now just imagine the following situation. You're with your family and you're celebrating someone's birthday and you have your camera on with you and all of a sudden you look to your side you see something strange in the sky. A strange source of light behind the clouds that does not come from the ground neither from an airplane. I feel like, yeah, I've seen videos like that before too. Uh, in fact, this like I have uh, had an experience where the colors were kind of blinking. Like I'm, I was seeing colors in the sky here. I'm in Montreal, so I've seen, I've noticed that. Not like to that extent, but I'm not sure what could that be though. Like you know, at nighttime, like you like. Damn. What happened with many people during 2019 and 2020, and to this day, little is known about this strange. Yeah, this exactly, exactly. I've, I've noticed uh, stuff like that. Yeah, I've noticed plenty of times. Phenomena. Not this. I've never noticed something like this. If you have, Recently, let me know in the comments. video went viral of such an event happening in Leon in Guanajuato, and almost instantly the internet was divided by two. Those who had the opinion that this was some sort of strange and alien phenomenon, and others who thought that this might actually have something to do with power lines and electric failure. Yeah, I was gonna say that. What if this is something to do with power line? There was a news story, like maybe uh, if I'm not wrong, I'm not sure why it's crossing my mind. I don't even know where I heard this but maybe something like a power outage happened in new york and there was a video that was captured like that and people thought that aliens 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 and then they later came on and said that it was uh, something to do with power i mean it's government telling you stuff like do you really want to believe that it's just but one it of those doesn't things. stop there this month know. of August 2021, a strange light was reported in Sota Vento region in Veracruz, Mexico, and it was posted on Facebook by Lapso Mexico. Informativo. This is what they captured on camera. Oh, oh. Yo, homie got that movie music. I, I forgot that movie name. A similar phenomenon was captured on camera in Irapuato, Mexico and posted by Nivel Paranormal Facebook page. That's just, that, you know what, government's probably gonna be like, Balloon! That's a balloon! Chinese lantern! Chinese lantern! They're, they're probably gonna call that. Are you recording, he says? It seems like it's brighter now. Yeah, if you played Call of Duty Zombies, that might be a mystery box. At first, I thought this phenomenon could be a light pillar, and if you do not know what a light pillar is, it's an optical phenomenon that depends on light sources. On yeah, like if you played Call of Duty Zombies, that's exactly, uh, yeah, I've never experienced something like that, but I've seen f pictures. On the ground, and ice crystals high up in the atmosphere. But in this case, what's intriguing about it is that somehow this light seems to be pulsating. And this is not the usual thing that you would see during a- And the light is not like fully vertical. It's just like a, it seems like an object, right? Like sitting there. Light pillar phenomena. Not With only that, it doesn't appear to be connected to the ground in any shape or form. Yeah. What's even more mysterious is that there is a moment that we can see this light pulsating into two of them. Oh, damn. Now this is when things get even stranger. A video that went viral in Russia shows a similar what? phenomenon happening, but from above. What? Okay, so he's in a plane, I'm assuming a person that's the... on a regular commercial flight from Sochi to Moscow was able to capture this strange phenomenon. A unknown source of light shining through the clouds. Now that's a cheddar cheese though, that's a cheese slice by the look. Bombocat! What are these strange phenomena? Is it something that we could easily explain like a light pillar or is it something else? It looked like now, a cheese slice, right? when it comes slice, to the right? one of people's favorite topics are glitches in the matrix. Like when a plane seems to be stuck midair, or when something happens that it makes it look like that we're living inside of a simulation. I don't understand this, bro. I've noticed this bunch of times. Uh, like I've seen, I've seen pictures of this, videos of this bunch of times. There was recently a video I saw where a chopper, his wings were not spinning. But the explanation was that the camera, the the camera used to capture the helicopter up in the air uh, the there was something related with the fps because the camera couldn't go as far to capture the fps or there was something with the fps where the the wing was so fast or the camera couldn't be that fast so it made it so it, the, the chopper was just 
coming down, but there was no spinning, even though there was spinning. But how do you explain something like this, where you're seeing a plane that's not even moving, it's sitting still in the sky, right? For instance, on this next video, a truck loader identifies something on the road and stops for no reason. There's nothing there. What the hell? I think no. I've seen this video. Yeah, no, I've seen no, it. No, no. I've seen it in Bizarre Bob. He checks his dash cam twice to see if he didn't run over a dog or anything like that. And the second time, something shows up. Something that Daniel. wasn't there before. When he realizes that something's off, he gets the heck out of there <laughs> as fast as possible. Run, 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 run. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Now, most of these videos usually have a good explanation, but when they don't, it really forces us to question the reality that we're living in. This next video was posted by Business Krasnoyak YouTube channel, and in it you can see an airplane, or what appears to be an airplane, stuck in midair. Now, if you watch closely, bro, how do you explain that? There's gotta be an explanation to this one. The airplane too. does not appear to be moving, and all of a sudden, it starts moving very fast. Bruh. What? What's very unique about this video is that the plane is still in midair without any movement and all of a sudden it starts going very fast, making it very noticeable for anyone who's watching. So whatever is going on here, I would say this is maybe some sort of glitch in the matrix. What's your opinion? Yeah, I don't, this is this. bizarre, bro. One thing is to be outside of a plane and see it glitching, and the other is to be inside of it. Lisa K. Glasgow posted a video on Facebook recently of a bizarre glitch that she captured on camera, something that I can't quite explain, and neither could any of her followers. She was flying on a regular commercial airplane from Cincinnati to Las Vegas when she captured this on camera. Yeah. Ow! Ow! I don't want to crack the, the window of the plane, though. That's Voldemort. That's Voldemort. Jelly, jellyfish? What? Lisa saw something very similar to what Carrie Farides and many others have seen during their flights. It's very difficult to say exactly what this is and what it could be. Dementors? However, what's very similar in many of Yeah, I was gonna say not Voldemort, Dementors from Harry Potter. These videos is that it's always making the same type of movement. Yeah. I don't know, some man. Some theorize that this could be Black smoke coffee? coming out from some sort of exhaust system. The question is, what exhaust system? There's no object there. Not only that, if it were to be smoke, wind and air would be made. If people are really saying that that's uh, coming out of the exhaust, there is no exhaust there, dumbass. Making a difference when it moves from one side to the other, and it doesn't appear to be the case. In your opinion, what is going on here? I mean, I'm not a scientist, so... Now, this next video of a roller coaster ride that you're about to watch has a very eerie backstory to it. A glitch in the matrix or something. Yeah, what what you think, though, genuinely, though, that's that's really bizarre, right? Else, I'm not too sure. It seems that a couple of years back, a girl died in this roller coaster. And to this day, people don't know Damn. exactly how to explain some of the occurrences that are registered on camera in this place. Now, in this video, everything seems normal. However, if you observe the girl in the last seat, it appears that her face is glitching and all of a sudden she disappears completely without any cuts or edit. I'm going to play the original video for you to watch Bro. and you tell me what you think is going on here. That about to be trippy, man. If true, if true. So far, no glitching. I'm keeping an eye out. I mean, the face kind of seems kind of different. It's very hard to make out. And now she's not there. What? Now, if you observe closely, in the end of the video, we can clearly see that only three people are able to fit into this roller coaster ride. However, in the beginning of the video, there were four of them. Now, is this just a camera trick? Or is it a glitch in the matrix? Or is it something else? Mm, yeah, a little trippy. A little trippy for sure. Now, talking about a glitch in the Matrix, Central America is a place full of mysteries, and El Salvador has a big one going on at one of its beaches. 
At a beach known as La Puntilla, there is a house that has been known for quite a while now as the center of many mysterious and strange hey. stories. And for the last couple of months, it has been the focus of many influencers and YouTubers to go out there and find out more about this strange and mysterious house that appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the beach. The house appears to be totally abandoned for quite a while and no one knows exactly what happened to it, how it got there and it it really looks like that this house spawned out of nowhere in the well, middle. Anything about Yeah, it doesn't look like I was going to say it doesn't look like it belongs here, right? Like that's crazy. You see this is a beach, there's water there and all of a sudden in the middle it's just there's a house there that feels like it's it doesn't belong here. It should be like somewhere somewhere else uh completely abandoned. About it. Otra teoría Another theory is, I read this in an article saying that, said that this was an abandoned church. Other articles said that this caused by earth swarming. Other articles say that 30 years ago the house disappeared. While some people suggest that it's an abandoned hotel or a church, others say that this was actually the result of a very strong hurricane that happened in El Salvador. Now here is when things start to get very strange. In 1998, there was a very strong hurricane in El Salvador, it was Hurricane Mitch, and it was, well, very bad. And many internet users and even news outlets are saying that this is the reasonable explanation for what's going on here. However, locals and several other people have stated the contrary, saying that they visited this house way before 1998 and that it was already there just the same way that it is today so that it could Damn. not be the result of Hurricane Mitch. And if you go into the explanation of what is going on here, it just gets weirder and weirder. It seems like no one really knows exactly how this house appeared in the middle of a beach. Yeah. News outlets don't know. It Look just spawned out of nowhere though. Locals don't know. No one knows. Looks like that a Call of Duty dev just copy and pasted this DLC map out of nowhere. <laughs> Like it was in development, strange. it was a video game dev uh, was like, okay, it was in development, but they had to cut the project midway through because of no budget. Is this? Damn. Uh, if you've Damn. ever searched for mysterious and unexplained things in the internet, you've from If you're new, subscribe. Subscribe, come boys. across videos of strange humanoid crazy, figures bro. flying in the sky. The thing is, in not so ancient times, there are many what? cultures that depict. Dude, that looked like the Oppressor Mark III from GTA Online. Some of you will probably never played games, or you're probably like, yo, what are you talking about? But that's crazy. Such creatures, sometimes as dragons, and at other times, witches. The thing is, there are even accounts of policemen in Mexico, for instance, that have encountered such a thing and captured it on camera. It had huge eyes. It had like a hat or something like that. So that's a cop saying that, damn. Now, if this is real or not, it's very difficult to say. However, it all started in Mississauga in Ontario. That, okay, it looks like a man with a jetpack on right Rio Canada right like it looks like I was gonna say a UFO it, it I mean probably is UFO but you seriously look at that I it just makes me feel like that that's a jetpack you yeah, I'm such a fan of a jetpack I, I know it's a reality but jetpacks are not like they are very expensive like 300 400 thousand dollars uh I'm assuming I'm not sure maybe 100k I, I don't know the price I saw that a long time ago it had different prices and it's not really viable it's like 30 minutes of flight time it's not and it's not very safe paramotor is very safe uh, and I want to do that but I really hope one day we can all have like um, something th something like this that's like very efficient it's electric and uh, yeah I, I love jetpacks man there's just something about it man I want to be able to fly Wait. like that, bro. One, if you would love to s do something like that, two, if not. What is that? But I think it's a UFO, right? Let me get out the car. I can't see, yo. Let me get out the car for a second. I cannot see, yo. Can we get out the car? A couple of months ago, a video went viral of such a thing flying in the sky. And after that video went viral, things just got even stranger. Many Damn. people were leaving comments like, I saw the same thing. I think I saw something similar in my hometown. People were leaving comments saying that they saw the same thing in different places and at different moments. 
and all of a sudden there were more than a couple of videos of this same humanoid figure flying in the sky all over. Yeah, even he's saying humanoid right now. Yeah, it looks like it might be somebody it might be somebody with jetpack. Okay, right now it's it's bizarre. Yeah, it's like black. It's completely black. Maybe due to the camera poor poor quality. There needs to be some sort of color here, right? Maybe the color he's uh the clothes he's wearing, uh his face, maybe the helmet is different color. I don't know, man. Like it's it it feels like a somebody with the jetpack, but at the same time it doesn't. Right right here it feels like a person. Just a humanoid. Here it doesn't even feel like it's a jetpack. Previously it felt like a jetpack, but now it doesn't. Yeah, this doesn't either. You can imagine that at first people were saying that this is just a drone or this is just a balloon or something like that. But then again, this object is moving way faster than a balloon and it does not appear to be a drone. However, it's very difficult to affirm. Something yeah. similar happened in Mexico, but it was a bit different. This is what was captured on camera. I think I've seen this clip before. No, I have not. Okay. But I've seen similar, similar. Damn. That looks like an Oreo cookie. Nah, not Oreo, but that looks like... I forgot, like, a puzzle piece. Yeah, puzzle piece. It looks like a cookie. Also looks like a puzzle piece. Damn. In this video, we see something different than a flying humanoid. But it's definitely not an airplane, not a drone or anything like the that. The hell? What's weird about these kind of videos is that they have been surfacing quite a lot lately. I'm not too sure exactly why. Okay, I, I really want to know what you f believe, okay? Do you believe in UFOs? Uh, UFOs are real, but do you believe in aliens? One, if yes, two, if not. And also, do you feel like that we are now noticing more of these occurrences? Because there's a theory, right? The reason we're seeing more is because more people have phones. More people got cameras. Uh, and mostly everybody has uh, phones. So in phones, we all got cameras. And this is the reason why we're now spotting these things a lot more. It makes sense. Basically, the theory here is that we used to always have these amount of occurrences, but people didn't have the technology. Maybe you would see a dot in the sky. You would be like, what's that? But you never had the camera to capture. And with eyes you cannot zoom in on with the camera you could zoom in on and then later on you can re-watch that video by yourself and share it online as well and thus a lot of people feel like that there are a lot of occurrences you know that's a good theory too but i also feel like that there's a little bit of both yeah more people are capturing but also there has been more occurrences as well in your opinion what do you think this could be and why are so many people seeing the same thing in the sky now imagine this, you're walking your dog late at night and all of a sudden you see something in the sky, something that you can't explain. This is what happened with Diego Santos in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What he saw was a red light in the sky, it wasn't shining and it was moving very smoothly. The thing is, it doesn't appear to be a helicopter, a drone or an airplane. And what happens next left everyone watching this video baffled. Damn. Okay, from first glance, I thought that it had like some sort of fire, just blazing. Can a brother get that zoom in? Yeah, it looks like he's on a bike, just pause. Damn, that looks like a Doritos on fire. Yo, I need more zoom in though. Tell me what you think this is. What? What? He dropped a Shiza? You, I've seen similar videos, but people that had infrared cameras, they captured there's like a some sort of dot, uh, like a UFO flying, and all of a sudden you will see like little like points coming out of it as though it was like a mothership dropping like smaller UFOs, right? That was basically a video I saw and it was from a, a person that had an infrared camera. Because uh, with your naked eye, you couldn't see that, but apparently he's saying seeing this with his naked eye. One, I saw two second ones somewhere here. And it's headed almost in the same direction. It also feels like now, a the planet. Is, there like are a Pluto. many drone shows happening around the world, including Sao Paulo, Brazil. Sao Paulo, Brazil is a very populated city, so it could be anything. 
from a kite to a drone or a different type of aircraft. The thing is, the neighborhood that he saw this thing was called Mokka. It's very rare to see different types of aircrafts in the air because it's close to the airport. Not only that, there is a moment in the video that you can see smaller orbs leaving this craft or whatever yeah. this thing is. So in my opinion, this isn't an ordinary drone or anything like that, or even a drone show. What do you think? This is yeah. it for today, but we... I've never seen something like that. I've seen, I've seen a lot of UFO videos, but not, not anything like that. But click on this video on the screen. Yep, click it and I'll see you right there. Subscribe.